Hey guys, Sam here and Angela and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to another video of our mini series on perimeter fence installation on our property over the summer of 2023. In today's video we are going to show you how we stretch and install the fence. We are ready to do this front line right here so we are going to lay out, roll out the whole fence for the whole length. Then we're going to attach it at this post that we are close to and then go down to the other end and stretch it out. Oakley doakley. See this top loop? Snip it there. Pull this one over. It just comes out. Okay. Thing we gotta make sure is this this vertical stay is in the same place where we want it. Which is next. Make sure it goes under. There you go. First, we put in a staple on the top line over here that helped us keep everything at the right level height and all in line. So when we attach the clips on this side, it was still completely straight. Now we need to go down to the other end of this run and pull everything tight so we can continue attaching it. We're here at the other end of this fence run. We're actually right beside our driveway as well. We have a regular inline H brace. What we're going to do next is hands down the most difficult part of pulling fence, at least it is for us. We need to attach the puller bar or stretcher bar onto the fence. Then we need to finagle our chains, our chain walkers, one on the top, one on the bottom, get them pulling, but not put them in the way of the fence. We did one yesterday off camera and it was fun and uh, hopefully this one, which will be on camera, will not be as fun, if you know what I mean. Here's a look at the stretcher bar. It is a big piece of metal, and it has a lot of these little clips that go in. You lay the fence against this red portion, then you drive these wedges down, and they pinch your fence here, right where my fingers are, which holds it, so you can put a lot of force on it and keep things tight. All right, we have our stretcher bar put here. The main thing to do is make sure you put it in between your vertical stays. When you're pulling a fence, you're not pulling these vertical lines. You're not pulling against them, they'll slip. You're pulling your horizontal wires. That's what really is holding the tension on your fence. I've also got these hooked up to it. These are called chain walkers because as you tighten them, they literally like walk on the chains. So Angela, get in here real closely on that one and I'll see if I can walk this on the chain without messing it up on camera. They can be a little bit weird to get used to, but hopefully I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> there we go. So at this point, we just walk a little bit on the top and bottom, making sure this fence stretcher stays vertical, pull it down to the tightness we want, then we'll terminate the end. So at this point, it's a lot of back and forth, a little bit of chain walking, and making sure we don't accidentally let any of the tension loose. So the things you definitely want to always be wearing safety gear or whatever, and be very mindful of. You wanna be very careful doing this. A lot of tension under this stuff. As you pull tension on your fence, it stands up on its own. I'm not pulling this, it's not wedging, just the tension of it pulling it is making the thing stand up, which is nice, makes it easier for you.
All right, the fence looks good. I walked it, made sure it was kind of tensioned enough. There wasn't having like any kind of snags, giving me a false impression of how tight it is. Feels good. So now I'm going to cut the fence loose with the roll here, and then we'll kind of repeat the same process we did down there. Strip off the vertical stays, wrap around, and secure it with the T-clips. Once that's done, then we release the chain walkers, and hopefully see a perfectly nice, straight, properly tensioned fence. Hopefully. your first time using those isn't it yeah you see why it's like i don't care what the cost is they're awesome yeah that doesn't come off as easy as you said you gotta wait oh, okay and just pull it i just use my fingers to pull it off here let me do it <laughs> and you can do the t-clips as i get these done okay i need to be on the other side though all right glasses on my face I'll just stand here and look pretty then I'm sitting sitting pretty yeah standing and looking pretty we're in a pretty business We're ready to release the tension off of our chain. I have my top walker here, and this can be one of the trickiest portions, the trickiest things to do. To release the tension with these, you pull it forward to walk it. I'm gonna pull it backwards to release tension and hold this bottom arm out of the way. So I'm pulling back, I'm able to pull this down. Now I'm gonna carefully let my top bar slide forward, and that releases the tension. Now we are all done with the top one. There we go. This is all on what we built. No special chain magic holding this fence up, and it looks great. Now we're gonna tap out these wedges, get the stretcher bar out of the way, unhook our chains, and then we're gonna start attaching our T-post clips and staples, which we'll show you guys that here in just one second. I've got here my story stick and it tells us the story of a red line where the fence goes and another red line where the barbed wire goes at the end. I'm putting it down here on the ground, that way I know exactly where to pull my fence up, hold it with my knee, and in this case with it being a wood post, drive in an inch and three quarter double barb staple from the fence into the wood. With the first staple done here on our line post, now we can kind of split off. Angel's doing all the T-posts with the T-clips. I'm gonna do the staples with the wood posts. We'll start at the top with our stick, get it done, and then we'll staple or T-post clip every other horizontal stay till we get to the bottom. The bottom two get done together at the same time, both of those, um, yes. These little boogers are T-post clips by Beckart, and they are pretty awesome. So this pretty much clamps around the T-post like so. And then Beckart has this awesome little chuck that goes on a drill. And you just fit both of these in there, screw it till it stops, and then it's stuck on there. You don't have to do anything else. Give it a little pinch, twist it on. 
and it's done. That's awesome. <laughs> Not too bad, right? No, it wasn't. It was not nearly as bad as I had it blown up to in my head. So. Yeah. We already did the shorter run back over there at our um, property line with our neighbor. We did that off camera as a learning curve, kind of figure out the process. And just the difference between that one and this one, huge difference. Emotions really are was. better, things went smoother, and the fence looks better. The other one looks great too, but this one, just real nice. Which is good because this is the front of our property. So everybody sees. Everyone, right here at the front, right at the mailbox. So this is where it really mattered most. And with that, we are now back in, uh, what is it, February now? <laughs> so several months later, but it was fun to hang out in Summerland for a little bit at least. All the green. Yes, you can definitely <laughs> tell a big difference in the property. Well guys, that's it for this series. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See you guys. Bye.